Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here, wanting to take a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Purge Trooper Phase 2 from the Obi-Wan Kenobi Show. This is a really cool looking figure and I'm super excited about it. It's a Walmart exclusive here in the United States. It's been in and out of stock a little bit, but mostly in, and it is currently in stock at Walmart.com. Um, I do recommend potentially checking that out if you're interested, but uh, if you're not sure about it, then keep watching and hopefully I can convince you. So... Let's go ahead and get into the review. As always, we're going to start by taking a look at the packaging. This is your standard Black Series packaging until our next wave where it takes away the window. You get your Black Series logo up top, above the big window that we're about to lose, showing the figure and accessory off nicely. Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi Dark Trooper Phase 2 Armor Warning 4 Plus Hasbro. This side of the box features artwork of the uh, Purge Trooper looking really cool with Reva, the Grand Inquisitor, and the Fifth Brother marching like up behind him. I don't know, this cool artwork. I like it. He is in Phase 2 armor, as I said. Um, I also feel like I said Dark Trooper earlier, which is wrong. I, I promise I was reading it. I don't know. Uh, uh, ADHD brain, right? Wraparound window, wraparound blue stripe, Star Wars The Black Series logo down at the bottom. Around back, you got the zoomed-in artwork, the Black Series logo, his name again. That same bio about the Kenobi show, not the character, just the show. Number seven in the lineup. You got some legalese, your Disney Hasbro barcodes, more legalese, more symbols. Top of the box features a hanger tab and a window that allows a little bit of light in there to uh, just make it look a little better on display and package if you're one of those losers. I'm not. I open my toys. I enjoy what I purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're getting here. Here's the Purge Trooper out of the package. As always, we'll start by taking a look at his accessory. He comes with a familiar blaster if you have any of the Death Troopers from Rogue One. Um, it is that exact same blaster, same mold, has that little light sculpted on the side and the kind of weird skinny stock going on. But uh, it's a good blaster. I believe this to be pretty good reuse. There is no weapon storage, but he does hold the blaster rather well. And uh, it is a good length to where he can shoulder it and still, you know, grab it. So, you know, that is a good weapon reuse there. Um, so, yeah, uh, other than that, he comes with no accessories. It's just the trooper, which in most cases with troopers is fine. So, and is the case here. Um, you know, I'm going to be honest, getting into the show, I wasn't crazy keen on there being like a phase two of purge troopers. Like there was nothing wrong, no reason that we couldn't have one. But, uh, I don't know, I just, I really liked that first design, just to go ahead and bring it in. Here's that GameStop pre-order bonus exclusive one, and uh, I will say, you know, I mean, I'm glad that we're on the new clone body versus the old clone body of this era, but I don't know, I just, I really like that uh, Airborne Trooper helmet, uh, so I don't know, I, uh, I'm maybe a little bit sentimental on that one. Um, this one is a kind of unique variant of a Stormtrooper helmet. Like, you see a lot of the accents there. You still have the uh, bridged eyes of the airborne helmet, except much wider. And then the kind of Stormtrooper grilled mouth and the slots on the cheeks and stuff. And that big, like, actual mouth area. So, I don't know. They're, uh... It's just a little different. It's a unique design. As far as the body, this is mostly the new Clone Trooper body. Um, the legs, the uh, lower... Uh, abdomen area. The upper torso is the clone body retooled. They added these little uh, boxes on the front, you know, little gadgetry. And around back, you have this uh, pack instead of the clone trooper like hookup point. And this is molded on, this isn't just glued on. So he also comes with unique shoulder pads. These might be unique upper biceps. I don't 100% know. But then from the elbow down, it is just your regular clone trooper. And then, of course, new helmet. The pauldron on this, I'm not too keen about. It's like the First Order pauldrons where it just kind of wraps around the neck and sets, and there's no strap under the arm, um, except those sit nicely, and this doesn't. It's very floppy and loose on here, and I just openly don't like it. There's a part of me that kind of thinks I might try to put a little dab of super glue on the shoulder to hold it down. Um, that kind of bugged me when it came to taking it off of like the Walmart shock troopers from Bad Batch. But in this case, I think I would rather have it glued down because we didn't see any of these in the show without the pauldron. So I can only assume that phase two purge troopers only wear pauldrons. So yeah, um, yeah, there's my uh, 
rant and opinions on the design, I suppose. As far as everything else, I mean, we've seen this clone body a few times, so we kind of know what we're getting into. And I mean, for what it's worth, it is a very menacing design, too, so he stands very imposingly. Um, let's run through some articulation, I suppose, since he's basically just a black clone with some retooling and some red here and there. Features that same double barbell neck. Allows him to only look that high up, though, the kind of, like, flare of the helmet gets in the way. He can bury his chin, though. He can rotate his head. Pivot pretty nice. He can come up. He can bring this arm up to, like, a T-pose. The shoulder pad will go up and over. The pauldron kind of gets in the way over here, but theoretically it should be able to do the same. 360 at the shoulder, and a solid butterfly joint in there. Single jointed elbows can only go about that far, so 90 degrees before they start to really pinch on that strap on the elbow. Swivel at the elbow. 360 wrist with lefty hinging in and out, righty hinging up and down. Mid torso ball joint with all kinds of range, including a crunch that far forward, that far back, and some pivot. He can do that wide for the splits, which is pretty, pretty decent. Can't gripe about that. He can kick. Pretty straightforward if you swing the leg out a bit, back a little bit, upper thigh rotation, single jointed knees can go a little past 90, that's nice, and a knee swivel. His feet can point that far down, that far up, and there's forward facing pin for rocker, allowing you to get some rather decent stances with both feet flat on the ground. To do some size comparisons, how about we bring in Reva, the third sister, since we typically see them marching along behind her. If I can get her to stand up, that would be, like, super chill. Come on, Rava. Okay, there we go. And how about the uh, target, our wandering Jedi Obi-Wan, who... Come on, Obi, stand up. There we go. As we see, they all clock right about six inches. I feel like that's pretty accurate. I feel like she was tall, and he was an average, roughly six-foot-tall guy. So, yeah, I think that balances rather nicely. They make a nice little set. You guys didn't think I only got one, right? Because uh, it's an army builder, and we all know who I am. I, uh, I tend to get at least pairs. And I think I'm going to stop at a pair with this version, too. I uh, think I just need the two to flank the Inquisitors. That's a pretty adequate number in my mind. Um, and, yeah, so... What do I think of this figure at the end of the day? Overall, I'm actually rather happy. I don't mind reuse when it comes to troopers, especially as long as it's accurate. And these guys turned out really nice. I like the helmets. I like the weapon choice. The articulation is nice. And they just look the part of a Phase 2 Purge Trooper. As mentioned, I still am extremely sentimental about this version. But I understand. And for what it's worth, these guys got a cumulative... 42 seconds of screen time in Kenobi. That was a total guess, but that's roughly about what it is. Let's be fair, they didn't do anything but just kind of stand behind the Inquisitors or be in crowds of troopers. So, uh, yeah, you know, they're they're neat, and going forward, I hope we potentially see more so that, you know, maybe we can at least get up to, like, 50 seconds of screen time with them. Um, and that's pretty well it. I think they're a pretty solid pickup, and I think if you're going to have an Inquisitor display, especially, they're a solid pickup. So, that's... That's it. I recommend them. Go pick them up. Walmart.com. In stock as of time of recording. I'm going to go work on some other videos. Thanks for watching. It means a lot that you did. If you enjoyed, you should leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that end of video stuff. And I will see you next time. Until then, may the Force be with each and every one of you. Bye.